The next topic is percentage. Before we go to percentage, you have to understand what molecular mass or relative formula mass bracket RFM of a given compound is obtained. So molecular mass, this is the sum of the masses of the constituent atoms of a molecule or a compound. What do we mean? Suppose we have carbon dioxide molecule. You remember when you were studying atomic structure, we had an atom, carbon had six and 12. Where six represented the atomic number and 12 the atomic mass. So to get the molecular mass of carbon dioxide, we have to add all the atomic masses of carbon and oxygen. So carbon is always given to us as 12, and oxygen is given to us as 16. So this is the same as carbon plus oxygen atom. But how many are they? They are two. We are told the carbon is 12. How many atoms do I have? It's only one. Then plus oxygen is given to us as 16. And how many oxygen atoms? They are two. So one times 12 is 12 plus two times 16 is 32. And the total is equal to 44. They are four. The molecular mass of the molecular mass of carbon dioxide is equal to 44 grams. When you talk of molecular mass, you put the units. But when you say RFM, you don't put the units. You just put 44. Why? Because it is relative to carbon. Now, having understood how to determine the molecular mass or the relative formula mass of a given compound, you can as well calculate the percentage of an atom in that compound. The given example we had previously was carbon dioxide, where we got our molecular mass as carbon plus oxygen, one times 12 plus 2 times 16. This is 12 plus 32, and the answer is 44 grams. So this is the total mass of carbon dioxide. We can as well calculate the percentage of carbon in carbon dioxide molecule. How? We know that the total number of carbon, the mass of carbon in this molecule is 12. This is the same as 12 over the total, which is 44 times 100. The answer is 27.3%. So the percentage of carbon in carbon dioxide is 27.3%. We can as well get the percentage of oxygen in the molecule. How? By using two methods. We can either use the 32 over 44 times 100, which is equal to 72.7%, or get 100 subtract of the percentage of carbon, and then you get the 72.7%, .7 because the total percentage is always 100%. Which one of the following is the percentage of sodium carbonate in 28.2 grams of hydrated sodium carbonate? Again, we have to get the RFM of sodium carbonate point ten. ten waters. This is the same as sodium plus carbon plus three atoms of oxygen plus 10 for rocket, two atoms of hydrogen plus oxygen. Sodium we are given is 23, but we have two atoms of sodium. Carbon is 12. How many carbon atoms? Only one. 
plus 16 how many atoms 3 plus 10 bracket 2 plus 16 bracket this is the same as 23 times 2 is 46 plus 12 plus 48 plus 180 and the total will be 286 but we, they are interested in sodium carbonate my sodium carbonate I should get the total here 46 plus 12 plus 48, the total is 1, 6. Therefore, the percentage of sodium carbonate will be 106 over the total times 100, which is equal to 37.06%. The answer is D. Example number 3. Find the percentage of nitrogen in ammonium nitrate again we have to get the molecular mass of ammonium nitrate this is the same as nitrogen plus four atoms of hydrogen plus nitrogen plus three atoms of oxygen then i substitute this is one times 14 plus two. 4 times 1 plus 1 times 14 plus 16 times 3. This is 4, 14 plus 4 plus 14 plus 48. The answer is the total is 80. But we are Requested to find the, total, the percentage of nitrogen in this compound. Majority of the students always use one nitrogen. They forget the second one. You have to look for the total number of nitrogen in a given compound. How many do we have? We have one, two. So we have two nitrogen, which is equal to 14 times two. The total number is, the total mass is 28. And the percentage is always the total mass of a given atom over the total mass of the compound times 100. The answer would be 35%. You are going to find more examples or more activities on digitalteachers.co.ug.